Today I have a very interesting video that I want to share with you. I'm going to try to fit in some quick tips on this subject. However, this is something that we could do a whole class about, a whole coaching session about. So of course we're not going to be able to get too much into the weeds of it. So today I want to talk to you about how you can set boundaries in some of your closest relationships. So your relationships with your friends, your family, your partners, etc. And I have three tips for you that I'll share with you on how you can set these clear boundaries in your close relationships. So the first tip that I have for you is you need to clearly communicate within your relationship. Oftentimes, even if you have the same values as your partner, it doesn't mean that you grew up the same way with the same rules, with the same ethics, with the same morals. And when you step into a relationship with assumptions based on the way that you grew up or the experiences that you had without clearly communicating what it is that you expect in your relationships, um, you do a disservice to the relationship because number one, you, you're not being open and honest about how you feel about stuff. And number two, you don't really give people the opportunity to show up the way that you need them to show up. So for instance, if you value um, touching or hugging, or maybe you don't like to lend money to people, or maybe you value being on time, then the answer is not to say that since those are the things that you value, everyone else should value, or if someone loves you, they should value those things. The way that you get what you want in your relationships is by communicating what it is that you expect. And then that means that the people that interact with you can then clearly show up for you the way that you need them to be, or at least they have the choice. Because if you tell them and then they don't, there's your answer right there. However, avoiding assumptions and clear communication are going to be the key for you to assert healthy boundaries in your closest relationships. Tip number two, this is a big one. So if you got lost, come back to me. I did a whole masterclass on this topic and it's about sticking to your values. People often think that if they um, love someone, then that requires compromise. However, what most people do is a sacrifice. And there's a difference between compromising and sacrificing. So on a very simplistic level, I will say that when you are in a relationship with someone and you value certain things, values should never be compromised. And if you start to compromise your values, then you start to lean into that world of sacrifice. And what happens when you sacrifice your values is that um, resentment crops up, um, anger crops up, um, maybe unrealistic expectations crop up. For instance, maybe you value education or maybe you value a partner that is more engaged and you allow them to do what they need to do, like maybe it's work or maybe they just are not present for a very long period of time or they don't love you in the way that you see yourself being loved and it's something that you truly value. The more that you accept these conditions are usually when you're going to feel resentment and hurt and loneliness and all of those things that crop up. So my number one tip for you, if you want to assert healthy boundaries is not to sacrifice your values and learn the difference between sacrificing and compromising. All right. So my third and last tip for you to learn how to assert healthy boundaries in your closest relationships are to acknowledge that love has boundaries. And what I mean by this is just because you love people doesn't mean that you don't have boundaries. And people often think that when you're um, interacting with your family or your partner or your children, that you want them to know that you love them so much that you just kind of become a doormat in some instances and you don't clearly communicate with those people or you don't communicate authentically in those um, relationships in some instances. So I want you to know that 
in healthy relationships, you can look at many healthy relationships and they're all going to have a level of boundaries. And you can start to assert those boundaries more easily once you can communicate to those people around you that you love them. Yes, I love you. My love for you is not going to change. However, you have crossed a line in some sort of way. You have to be comfortable and you have to be brave enough to communicate those things. I love you. My love for you has not changed. However, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. No, I'm just kidding. You get the picture. So love has boundaries and you can communicate that you love someone while at the same time communicating that there may have been a boundary that has been crossed. And again, that goes back to that loop of open communication. Then it's up to them to either acknowledge and respect how you feel or not. And then you have a different decision on your hands. But um, those are just some of my top three tips that you can use to learn how to assert boundaries in your closest relationships. If you have any questions about relationships or um, asserting boundaries, let me know and I'll answer all of your comments. Um, if you have trouble knowing yourself, knowing your values, knowing when you're sacrificing versus compromising, maybe you just feel a little bit lost about being your authentic self in general, then you may want to think about working with me privately because that's one of the number one things that I focus on before we go any further in our coaching relationship. I help you develop values and in those values, that you develop start to help you nail down some goals and some strategies and tactics to achieve those goals so that you can move forward more optimally. So if you feel like you're struggling doing this type of work on your own, then you may want to think about working with me privately. And if that is something that interests you, then you could go to yeshikasintuition.com forward slash coaching to learn more about that. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.